<laughs> Hello, how are hands? Thanks for tuning in. Right, I went out tonight, right? A couple of friends, you know. Guess where we went? Guess where we went? Guess where we went? Fucking Concord! The arsehole of the fucking world. And that's not coming from my lips. I'm just replicating it from <laughs> some, I don't know, lost soul who happened to latch on to me when I was outside having a cigarette. Mm, some dishevelled man talking about, ooh, I've lived here for years and years and years. And it's like, oh, I've seen so many changes in this little town. Ooh. And I said to him, I know what you mean, mate. I moved here in 1983. And then he said to me, you're lucky. <laughs> I've been here since 1954. Oh, great. Uh. Now, <laughs> if I'd lived in this shit house since 1954, pff, I would have considered suicide a very, 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 very long time ago. So, yeah, he was the lucky. Well, he's not lucky. Fucking Concord, man. Everywhere I looked, scumbags, losers. You know, girls with. The hair was that fucking bleached blonde, you know, they didn't even look human anymore. Not that they did in the first place anyway. But you know, why most of these women bleach their hair blonde? I'll tell you why. Because most of them are dark to start with, right? Have dark hair to start with. And the reason they dye their hair blonde is to disguise the fact that they're as thick as fuck anyway. You know what I mean? Stupid bitches, dimwits, don't know anything, can't add one on one. So I know I'll bleach me hair blonde and that'll give me a good, good excuse to be stupid. And that's a fact. One of my supervisors used to be like that. I'm not going to mention any names, but she was mm, quite like that in a way. But, honest to God, man. I mean, the reason I'm, I went out tonight, well, earlier on, it's... Well, Christ, it's 10 to 7 a.m. So I've been sat up all night. You know, boring myself, fucking stupid, watching shit online, but never mind. It's now, like, nearly bedtime, so, honest to God, out last night, right? Everywhere I looked, it's just, what the fuck? That's why I am becoming more and more of a recluse. Yep. Increasingly becoming a hermit because I don't like the outdoors very much anymore. And guess why? Because of all the fucking scumbags! I'm sick of it. You know, I want to go out, right? I want to enjoy myself. I want to sit there. Good people. Good surroundings. You know, not watching me back all the time. You know, like, oh, fucking hell. 
I'm going to the bar now. I've only got to spend £2,000 for one round of drinks, but never mind. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, somebody's coming into the bar. That looks nowhere near as dangerous as Colonel Gaddafi, but it's a blonde and she's going to kill everyone. So, um, yeah, two good friends I was sat with all night, work the way down, start at the spec. Oh yes, and we went into the spec. <coughs> and then, last orders, the pub, and then after last orders we went to the bird. Hmm. Nobody I know. And then after the bird, we went to the tavern. Bad idea. They say it was my idea. It wasn't my idea. It was their idea. Let's go up there and work our way down. <laughs> Naturally, the tavern was on the way, so <laughs> it wasn't my fucking idea. And then we ended up back at fucking Weatherspoons, didn't we? Well, <laughs> mm, boring, boring. Then at least in there you can talk to each other. You know what I mean? You can, oh, you can have a semi-conversation without interruptions. No crappy music in the background. Banging your fucking head off the fucking deck and that, you know, he didn't eat shit like that. Didn't eat shit like that. No. I'm gonna sit down, have a chin wag about fucking work. No, you don't want to talk about work. That's what we've been doing all night. The fucking three of us talking about how much we're dreading going back to work next week. It's been on holiday for two weeks. Well, Christ, <laughs> you can't half tell I don't get out much. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Nevertheless, Concord. It's an experience. Every time I go there, same fucking thing. You know what I mean? I wish I could say the same thing about Newcastle. Not the case. Not the case. Because Concord, despite what this drunken man said to me outside the fucking pub, that, oh, every time he goes it's different, there's lots of changes. No, well, I dare say there has been. And there has been, because I've noticed them myself, but not very noticeably in my world. However, on the other hand, you go to Newcastle. Every time I go to Newcastle, I step out of the taxi, right? And it's like, where am I? Then I have a big row with the taxi driver. I'm saying to him, Come on, I asked you to drive us to fucking Haymarket Station. Where are we? We're not in Iraq, you know. Mm. Uh, this is it, sir. That's how different it fucking looks now in Newcastle, you know what I mean? I mean, Christ, last time I was in Newcastle, Oh, I can't remember how long ago it was, but it was like, you know, I stepped out of the fucking car. It's like, it was like Manchester or something. It's like, where the fuck am I? Come on. It's not Newcastle. I mean, I've been drinking in all my favourite pubs since the 1980s. It's all gone. It's all. Gone. All the brilliant rock 
pubs me and my gang used to frequent during the 1980s they've all just <laughs> vanished cry and shame oh god almighty but <laughs> getting back to the subject at hand Concord different story different author different fucking planet now then never again Concord Christ I remember when I first moved to Washington in 1983 me, me mum, me sister, me mother hmm I must have two mothers <laughs> Don't mind, you know what I mean. I'm I'm a bit tipsy here. Yeah. <sighs> anyway <laughs> Concord. Nice and yeah, it's alright. If you wanna have a little bit of a chin rug of your new butt on sitting round the chapel in Houtless Spring like and shit like that. 